Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And today I just want to do a quick follow-up to my Venom number 5 review because I got a lot of people, or at least a couple people on Twitter, uh, reaching out to me and sharing some information with me. So in my review, I was saying how when Venom grew the wings, uh, that I wasn't sure this was actually a new power that was something that I thought maybe he had done before, but I was referencing like the shields and I was like, oh, he's made shields and those could kind of be used as like a hovering device or something, but I couldn't specifically remember, although it was in my head and now I remember why and it was because someone on Twitter, actually Edward Lee, I'm going to put a link to his Twitter page down below, a follower of the show, uh, a, a big, big fan apparently, so thank you dude, thank you for sending this to me. Uh, I, I guess it got his wheels turning too of going, you know what? Maybe there were uh, this type of powers used before in the comic books. So I'm going to go research it. And he went and found this image here of Nova number seven. And I'm going to put that image right up here. And uh, and I'm just going to say, like, I was blown away. I was like, holy cow, this actually did happen. And the reason why I was kind of in the forefront of my mind is because Nova number seven here, uh, there's an Iron Man issue, I think 301 and 302. And then also a Daredevil issue that was during the... Um, the Typhoid Mary crossover, or it was not just Typhoid Mary, but it was called Fall from Grace, and Venom appears in that, and then also Avengers The Vault. Uh, these are stories we haven't gone over yet in the show, and I figured after we get through the uh, Matt Gargan stuff, and after we get through Dark Avengers, leading up to the movie, like the week or two leading up to the movie, and maybe the week after the movie, some of the comic stuff I wanted to talk about was I wanted to go back to Eddie Brock and talk about the Lost Years. Because if you remember, we jumped from like right before Along Came a Spider, I think it was Separation Anxiety, we jumped from that story into like, uh, you know, the, the Howard Mackey, like early, you know, the Spider-Man next chapter kind of stuff. And we jumped ahead a couple years of Venom comics and we skipped some stuff. And the reason I did that was because I knew that if I talked about that, there, those weren't in print. You guys couldn't go out and buy them. And a lot of the stuff I like to talk about on the show, I try to cover the stuff that is in print. Sometimes I can't help it. I have to review things that you know are out of print, but I figured that was a good chunk and that would be a good reason to go back and revisit the early days of Eddie Brock as the movie came out. So we are definitely going to do that. And Nova was in my stack. And I remember flipping through some of them because Nova is actually the issue where they mention Eddie Brock has a sister for the first time. Uh, and that was mentioned in this book, and that was something that Zeb Wells uh, went and ran with in Dark Origin, with Venom Dark Origin. And that's why I was like, oh, I wonder if Donny Cates maybe just doesn't like this stuff, and maybe, or maybe he's never read it, because he does admit that he's a big fan, and I think on Twitter, you know, he admitted that he's been having a lot of these ideas since he was nine years old, you know, and he's been holding these ideas in his head all these years. And, and now I kind of see the comparison a little bit, um, because, uh, you know, I don't know how, I think he's like 33 or something like that, so he wouldn't have, he would have been a little bit older when this issue came out because I think this came out in like the late 90s like 99 or something like that uh, but uh, this issue has venom spreading wings and it's almost in the exact way that it happens in venom number five and again this isn't me trying to be like oh i got you you know donny cates or anything like that uh, i you know I've, i don't know much about the guy i just know i like to stay run and because i like to stay run it made me buy his doctor strange damnation crossover and then because i kind of like that i was excited for him on venom and uh, and then you know it's been like hit or miss with me some stuff i like that he's doing some stuff i don't overall i like the idea of expanding the lore uh, and i like that he's building off of what other writers have already set up like the symbiote god and some other things that they've kind of already laid the breadcrumbs for i like that he's building off that and he's kind of continuing that continuity but i notice he's retconning some things too like eddie brock's sister and so i kind of feel a little like I, I get you know as a fan as a longtime fan a 30 year plus fan you know our 30 years at least of venom i can't be plus because he's only been around 30 years but as a, as a fan of venom for 30 years uh it, it i kind of do rail against stuff like that because i'm like oh man he doesn't have that much continuity to retcon you know so i, I get a little bummed out when things get retconned uh, but i overall do like where he's going and i'm, I'm at least intrigued and he's doing something right uh, other than getting ryan stegman on the art because i am buying every issue i have it even sent to you know to me in the mail i got a subscription through marvel and it's coming right to my house uh, so you know i i definitely am a fan of this stuff and i'm interested in see where he takes this story but sometimes i get a little like oh didn't that happen before or he's saying oh this is new and i know a lot of people already on twitter were like well he wasn't saying that was a new power he was saying this or that and it's like well no because if you look at this page here from venom number five after venom lands with uh with uh, miles and and Ven uh, miles says something like uh, oh you can fly and then venom says uh, as eddie he goes news to me and it's like no but it's it's not news to you you've actually flown before if you look at this nova issue and you flew in the same way you're falling from the atmosphere with nova just like 
that Miles and Eddie were falling in this one, uh, not to the point where, you know, he's being smacked around to wake up, but just where Nova's like, hey, dude, you know, we got to we gotta get out of here. Hold on to me and I'll, I'll get you. And, and Venom's like, no, I got this. I can do this myself. And he grows wings and he flies out. And they're even like big bat wings. They're not red and they don't have the detail that the new issue has, uh, but they're still there. So I, I don't know if that was intentional. I don't know if it was something because, you know, Donnie Cates swears he's read every Venom appearance. And I tend to believe him. I mean, I wouldn't like not believe somebody if they said that. Uh, so I'm curious if he just he read this and, it, you know, and then he wrote almost the similar thing, maybe as an homage to it or something. Um, I don't know. But again, this is me trying to roast the guy. This isn't me trying to say he doesn't have good ideas. I think a lot of people took my tweet and my post on Instagram a little too seriously. I was kind of saying it in jest. I think I put the smiley face on Twitter, and I might have forgot to on Instagram, so if so, that's my bad, but it was kind of like a, ha, huh, I got the guy, and I was even talking to a, a guy at work about it, and uh, my friend Gabe, and I was like, I was like, yeah, I mean, this guy, you know, sometimes writes things that gets under my skin, uh, but, you know, overall, I don't dislike the guy, you know, like, I, and I, I'm interested in seeing where he's going with the story. Um, but I just feel like a lot of times when people rush to defend their favorite writers or their favorite, you know, whoever, they 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 do it without really thinking about the defense they're trying to do. And it's like, yeah, I wasn't really trying to roast the guy. Uh, and maybe that's on me. But if anyone who watches my content, you guys know that I'm, I'm generally a positive person on here. Uh, sometimes I get a little peeved and I get a little upset, but I'm not out to like, you know, attack some writer uh, because he did something that I didn't like. No, if I don't like something, I just stop reading it. So I am still reading Venom. So obviously there's something going on that I like, but I just thought this was interesting. And some of the other powers that were in the issue, like the suit, talking internally to Eddie, but uh, Rex being able to hear it, uh, that I think something like that has happened before with other symbiotes in proximity to each other. And then also, like I said, there was a scene where uh, Eddie, his the suit offers to slow his chemicals down so that, uh, like the, in his body to change his chemical uh, balance so that way he could be more, um, you know, uh, like rested. He'll, he'll, he won't be as intense or angry as he gets like new news from the symbiote and Eddie's like, well, you can do that. And I said, oh, I think that happened before. I think something like that's happened before, but not to that degree. So that probably is kind of in the realm of new territory. But a lot of people were coming to the defense and saying, no, what the book says is that because he got in, you know, in touch with Null, he has these new abilities now. And it's like, yeah, but they're not really new abilities. They're things that we've actually kind of seen before, especially the wings, almost verbatim with the wings. Uh, so uh, again, this isn't me like, trying to like say that the guy's not talented or anything like that. This is me just pointing uh, you know, a similarity out and just being like, oh, that's interesting. I had kind of forgot about the wings, but uh, yeah, that's why it was sitting in the back of my head somewhere is because recently I was putting those issues together and I was like, all right, I'm going to get to that Nova issue. We're going to do like a week of Eddie Brock stuff where he fights Nova, fights the Avengers, fights Daredevil. It's like a versus episodes that I had planned. And then I was like, and then, you know, Edward here showed me that image and I was like, oh, that's why it was in my head. And that's why I, I was thinking about it while I was doing my review. So uh, thank you, Edward, for that. And thanks for the image. And uh, I just wanted to bring this to you guys' attention. What do you guys think of the similarities? Is it just maybe an homage to it, do you think? Uh, do, you know, obviously I'm not uh, suggesting he's ripping anything off. I was just making the joke like, oh, look, something like this already happened. Not so original, huh? Uh, you know, but that guy has added so much to the Venom lore, whether I like it or not, he is doing a ton of stuff to the Venom lore. So it's not like I'm trying to take anything away from the guy. Uh, he's done a lot. And he He's, he's, uh, he's currently writing a ton of books at Marvel and apparently spearheading and, and kind of show running the upcoming Marvel Knight stuff. Um, and so that stuff does, isn't just given to somebody who doesn't have talent. This guy in a short amount of time proved that he has talent when it comes to certain characters. And again, I'm not on board with everything that he's doing with Venom, but I hope he's okay with me being a little critical. I'm just, you know, trying to give my honest opinion on stuff. And I try to back up, like, this isn't me trying to be right when I say like, oh, I don't like, you know, the Eddie Brock thing, retconning the sister. Like, that's not me, you know, right about anything. That's just me explaining to you why I don't like it. Because I'm, you know, when I look at uh, Dark Origin, I go, wow, he references the rats, but not the sister. And I know I've made that point a, a couple times to you guys in videos, but the reason I make it is just so you can kind of see my point of view. So you can see where I'm coming from with my opinion, but it's not the right opinion. It's just my opinion. Uh, and so if you guys, I see a lot of you guys have different ones. A lot of you commented on my Venom number five review saying that you love the series and you love what's going on. And there's a lot of people out there that are 
really digging it. And at the end of the day, as a Venom fan, all I can hope for is that a Venom book does and you know really well and sells really well, and that people receive it really well. And that's what's happening with this book. It's sold out in every issue. Every issue has gone to a second printing, some three and four printings, and I think maybe issue one might even go to fifth printing at some point. Uh, and so you know, and Venom number five is already sold out on a distribution level. So the fact that people are out there and they're ingesting this and they're liking it or hating it, uh, it's selling well for Marvel, and that's big for Venom because he is a character that hasn't sold this well in a long time and he's had great runs like the Flash Thompson run and he's had great stuff even some of the Mike Costa stuff I liked but it didn't hit numbers like this is hitting and the fact that this is hitting on that level means the book isn't going to go anywhere for a while and as a Venom fan I'm very grateful for that because I want a Venom book to last more than like 18 or 20 or even 40 issues like it did before and according to Donnie Cates he says he has at least to issue 40 planned with this book. So that's mighty impressive. And that's definitely a writing on a level that I won't ever get to. I do write. I love writing comics. Um, I have my free comic book down below. If you want to check out the description box, I've been adding it to all my videos. You can get the first issue for free. And then there's a link where you can buy the graphic novel if you like the first issue. And that's a comic book I did a few years ago with an artist named Eric Ninatowski and a colorist named PJ Katakutin who did the Venom art, the Venom logo that we have on my page with me like becoming Venom. Uh, that was PJ. He did that and he colored this book for us. And it came out through Awesome Comics, which is a company I used to work for after I left Top Cow. And uh, it's a book I worked really hard on. So you'll see. You can read my book. You can criticize me. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard to hear criticism sometimes as a writer. But I welcome it because I hope to grow better, you know, beyond it. And so I hope, you know, anyone out there who is a writer who gets criticism, just keep that in mind. That it's just someone's opinion. You don't have to put all your cards in that basket and believing what they're saying. They're not saying the truth. They're just saying their opinion. And that's what I'm just trying to get across here. Is like when I rail against some of the stuff Donnie Cates does, uh, it's just my opinion. And I like that you guys understand that and that you're not like downvoting my videos if I say I don't like something uh, you at least hear me out and stuff and I like hearing you guys out too so let me know down below what you think of all this so again if you're expecting some kind of roast video obviously I'm sorry to disappoint you but I'm also glad to disappoint you because that's just not the kind of stuff I make on this channel but it was something interesting that I thought was worth talking about so let's talk about it thanks so much for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff I'll see you in the future peace